Hi, my name is Alex Waite. I am the creative lead at the UTS Animal Logic Academy. I've been in the industry for about 30 years now, mostly as an animator. Um, I've been in the art department a little bit, but worked my way from animation through to lead and then supervisor and director. Uh, well, comics. I was always uh, used to read comics and watch cartoons when I was a kid. I, you know, did a lot of drawing. Uh, for a long time there, I thought I wanted to create comics as my career, and then I kind of moved a little bit into 2D animation, and and that was really my sort of inspiration. Watching um, a lot of manga when I was a kid, Japanese, you know, animation, and and reading a lot of comics, and and then that really kind of like pushed me and motivated me to get into animation after I discovered. You know, it was something you can do uh, with computers as well because I like being nerdy about that as well. Uh, doing, doing new things with old tech. Uh, I'm just loving this kind of style that we have in animation at the moment of, of sort of like 2.5D and, and 2D over 3D. Um, you know, Nimona, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Arcane. Uh, Spider-Verse, of course, and it's just a really exciting kind of feel of, of something that's been kind of, we got used to a certain style of animation for so long. Um, so I'm really excited with what's being used with that at the moment. That's a good one. I, look, anything, I think anything that has uh, a good team on it is, is probably ideal. Um, I love Something I love about this industry is, is the collaborative aspect of it. Um, collaborative storytelling is just fantastic when it works. Um, working with other people to try and solve a creative problem is, is brilliant. It's just such a fun and engaging part of, the, of this industry. And, and so my ideal setting is really working with a good team. Uh, I was schooled. I started off at the National Art School. I did a, a degree there and majored in painting and drawing. Uh, that was a little bit abstract and so after that I went to a more traditional art school called Julian Ashton uh, where they specialised in traditional art techniques. Uh, I studied oil painting and contrast and form and, and everything. Uh, they didn't even let us use colour uh, for the first six months. It was pretty fun. Uh, then after that I went back to college actually and did a two year degree in multimedia only because back then the only place that had any sort of animation subjects was this course and it was in second year so I had to get through two years to do that subject. Ah pizza, always pizza. <laughs> Uh, best tip for staying inspired is keep learning. Um, you know, things only get boring if you stagnate and you just keep repeating the same thing again and again. Um, that would, that's for anything, like anyone coming into work the same every day and doing the same thing is going to get bored. Um, you've got to keep your passion up and to keep uh, passionate about something, to keep things interesting, you just have to keep learning. Yeah, uh, a story. I do a lot of writing nowadays. Um, I write freelance and I do script editing and it took me a while to realise that story is really at the heart of, of everything. It's at the heart of animation, it's at the heart of art. I mean, um, you know, art without story is, is pretty non-existent and, and it's something that I really wish that I got into a lot sooner is, is studying story techniques, uh, character kind of arcs, you know character motivations and it's just once I really kind of got into that it really really helped me develop many other areas of animation and my skill set. Uh, I've tried a few things with this uh, for a while there I was trying heavy metal and kind of Skrillex kind of music as well just to be loud and distracting um, almost white noise uh, that was kind of wasn't working that well. Then I went kind of the other direction. Anything I find that's too engaging <laughs> just takes me away from what I'm working on. Uh, I tried noise cancelling for a while, just total silence, but that got me in my head too much and, and that was kind of weird. So now I go back to white noise, but more sort of tonal stuff, like a, a deep bass kind of tone throughout and I find that kind of works, works well for me.
Winter, winter for sure. I mean, you can always warm up by wearing more clothes, but you can't cool down uh, the other way. Um, the weather here in Sydney is just better in winter. It's crisper, it's cleaner. Uh, the surf's better, it's bigger, there's less people. Love it. Uh, when I was a kid, I saw uh, this movie, The Last Starfighter, and it was one of the first movies that had 3D animation and it. it was the, uh, the spaceship that was, uh, had the main hero in it, and uh, it was absolutely incredible. It was one thing that made me kind of research and look up what 3D animation was, and it, it kind of put me on the path to try and um, uh, explore that avenue. I didn't even think that was possible. Up until then, I'd really just been creating uh, art in, with 2D. Uh, it also helped that um, the main character's name was Alex as well. Uh, look, it's a healthy mix of everything, probably. Um, I, do, I do like uh, blues a lot. I still listen to, to heavy metal a lot. Um, pretty much kind of, yeah, yeah, any alternative rock as well. It's, it's I'm, I'm, you know, a mix of it all. Who can, who can stick to just one genre? A uh, dog, always a dog. Um, it's pretty easy actually, it's, it's not that hard. Um, I think this probably applies to just more than our industry, but it's, um, as a really good friend of mine said, uh, be reliable, be accountable, and be nice to people. Uh, probably, probably the last Starfighter actually, if I just, yeah, again, I just look, I loved it. Um, but the other one that I used to watch all the time was, um, Big Trouble in Little China. Just because it, you know, monsters, action, magic, it was just had a bit of everything. It was campy and fun, didn't take itself too seriously. And, and it was, um, you know, just really encaptured the, the sort of feeling of the eighties for me as well. I love it. Still like it. Uh, yeah, movie, probably Nimona, I think. Um, I really just looked like I had a lot of fun doing that. I just, I love the style, I love the animation in it, I like the look of it. Um, they really kind of, again, used that tech in a new and exciting way. Um, the character work was great, um, although I imagine animating, uh, animating Nimona was pretty difficult, um, but yeah, I would have loved to have worked on that. Uh, both, really. Um, I still paint and I still draw at home pads. I carry around a pad and a pen all the time uh, because I like the sort of tactile uh, haptic feedback of, of drawing. And then I'm also kind of using, you know, my, my digital pen as well and, and drawing on, on screen. Don't underestimate planning uh, and don't rush your planning. Uh, planning is such an important part of, of animation. A lot of people kind of go through that really quickly and dive straight into animation. I see that all the time. Uh, and planning is really about uh, finding the intent of the shot. Animation without intent is just noise. You know, you just have to get to the heart of, of what the shot is. Um, and again, it comes down to story and character. So as long as you know what the story is and what your character wants, uh, then you can find your intent and as long as you have your intent, then you can do your planning well. So it kind of all works backwards from there.